And this is Angela Brown. And this is my showbiz story. Child, it ain't always glitz and glamour, you know. We make it look good, fabulous. Everything is wonderful, well appointed. But early on, I was doing my debut at uh, La Fenice that was on the Tronchetto uh, in Venice, Italy at the time in the big top circus tent, right? And so uh, I was doing Un Ballo and Mascara, my very first ones. And um, I had this big hoop dress on and all the underpinnings, okay? I'm all dressed. They're saying, Madam Brown, please come to the stage. I have to pee. So I'm thinking that maybe it would be relatively simple uh, because in, in Italy at that time, you could find toilets that, with a hole in the floor. And so all I would have to do is pull it up and go, right? No such luck. And I thought I had all of my things out of the way. All right, so I managed to get all my dress up, all the crinoline, all the underskirts, the overskirts, the girdle, and the thong, I thought, out of the way. So I'm positioning myself over a regular toilet because they didn't have one with a hole. Baby, I got to relieving myself and I'm hearing them call my name again. All of a sudden, I started to feel very warm. You guessed it. Pissy Diva rode that evening. I feel for every dresser. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Another story that I would like to share with you. I was doing my debut once again uh, in Berlin, a um, now defunct uh, production of Aida where I was being drowned by Radames at the end of the show. All right, so I had to get in this really murky, nasty kind of water. And so, and I had a really fast, quick change. I thought that maybe I would just be able to get part of me wet. No, they had to put my head up under the lip of this baptisery that I was being drowned in. It's a whole thing, honey. It's a whole mood. Go look at that story. But it, or that production, I should say. So anyway, I'm totally soaking wet. I get off there. They help me out. The curtain comes down. They help me out. And they rush me to the side. And like eight women stripped me naked, dried me off, and patted me dry. If you see where my hands is going. I was like, ah! Had I known they were going there, I'd have cleaned the area up a little more. I was so embarrassed and mortified as I had to go out on stage with clothes that were too big to take a bow as I'm holding on to my skirt. So, you can't make that up. That's a true story. I got some more, but child, I have to say something for the book. <laughs> Y'all take care. God bless. Happy 2020. <laughs>